In this segment, we'll look at more than 17 knives of the Victorinox 111mm range. Welcome to the 111mm layer guide to models produced by Victorinox, perhaps the most popular size of what would be considered by Victorinox as large Swiss Army knives. It's a later Victorinox design featuring locking blades and offering larger, more robust models than their 91mm cousins. Announced in 1986 and first marketed in 1987, it used a slide lock mechanism through a slide button at the bottom scale. Being a lot more heavy duty compared to 91mm Swiss Army knives, they are great for outdoor use at work or for other day-to-day -day tasks. The second generation came out in 1994, since Victorinox was commissioned to produce the Dutch Army Knife in 1993. This generation of the size range adopted a more robust liner lock, making it less susceptible to failure in the most demanding of tasks, including rescue and military operations. Until 2008, all the models in the series used a nylon synthetic handle. But since then, some of the liner lock models became available with dual density injection molded polyamide or PME6 synthetic handles with the introduction of the Swiss Army official soldier's knife. And with that, it cemented a trend for all military, law enforcement, rescue and other uniform bodies around the world to issue their own versions. Let's start with layer 1. The Alpenia features a liner lock for its main blade, a corkscrew and the scale tools of toothpick and tweezers. Originally a slide lock, by 2007, all slide lock mechanisms would be replaced with liner locks. Replace the corkscrew on the Alpenia with a Phillips screwdriver and you get the fairly rare and discontinued in 2017, the Cowboy. Next, we have the Parachute Knife, announced in 2018 as a special order. It's strange in a sense that it uses the curved serrated blade as its main blade and its liner lock on the opposite side. The curved serrated blade is also the large cutting blade. The reason why the liner lock is on the opposite side is because the main blade is actually the secondary emergency blade on the likes of the Hunter XS which we'll look at later in this video. Here is a picture of the one issued for the Indonesian Special Forces Paratroopers. Then there is the Sentinel and the Sentinel Plus, single layer and introduced in 2008. Featuring a single main blade with black scratch resistant nylon scales. Here is the Sentinel and the Sentinel clip. This is the Sentinel. It's one-handed, a very basic tool. As you can see, single layer, it comes with a liner lock. Keyring. Tweezers. Toothpick, very slim, it's a very elegant tool, it's one you can carry um, quite reasonably around because it's very thin. Because it's very thin, you can carry it almost anywhere in your pocket, it's not too big the 111 millimeter knives
that is the single layer 111 millimeter sentinel 100 then you have the sentinel clip it adds a pocket clip to the sentinel very much the same as the earlier sentinel except it comes with this clip and this clip just multiplies the sentinel's coolness factor at two layers we have the adventurer it's the 91 millimeter tinker which grew up here are examples of the original slide locking version this is the original slide locking version as you can see the tinker Of course, unlike the Tinker, it doesn't have the small blade. It comes with the keyring, your toothpick, your tweezers, your 91mm style reamer and all, and for the back tool, the Phillips screwdriver. This is the Adventurer. Slight lock. This is the newer adventurer. All slight lock models of the 111 millimeter range were discontinued in 2016, and by 2017, Victorinox moved to this version, which has number one. A liner lock for the main blade and the pry bar now comes with its own lock as well also a liner lock making it a bit more robust the all reamer has changed does not have the sewing needle and you still have the same Phillips screwdriver. Standard scale tools of your toothpick and tweezers and your keyring. Moving on at two layers also, Victorinox produced the Swiss cheese knife in collaboration with Swiss Cheese Promotion. A new tool was introduced here, which is the cheese blade, and in 2017, its slide lock became a liner lock. This knife evolved to become the Cheese Master. Exchange out the cheese blade for a wood saw, and you get the lock blade knife. It's strange because although introduced in 2019, it still kept the slide lock. Another knife at two layers is the 111mm version of the Spartan, which is the Picnicker. Here is an example of an earlier version, which is the slide locking Picnicker. Of course, all 111mm models do not have the secondary smaller blade, so it has the main blade which is slide locking and like the Spartan has got a corkscrew rather than the adventurous Phillips screwdriver the 
91 millimeter style oil reamer with sewing needle the scale tools and the key ring so this is an earlier version of the picnicker now the picnicker was also released with a three-quarter serrated blade at one time Victorinox only produced liner locking 111 millimeter models however the liner locking nomad which had an equivalent tool set to the picnicker was removed from the catalog and the picnicker remained so in practice the nomad was renamed to become the picnicker and the original version of the picnicker was retired prior to 2017 both models had been available for several years the, Vic the victorinox nomad is also a two-layer 111 millimeter liner lock model with a basic set of tools available with regular or one hand opening blade and various other configurations the nomad was renamed in 2017 to be the new picnicker as i mentioned earlier after all slide lock models were retired in 2016, the Nomad was retired and the Nomad then sported the red coat and became the picnicker. The same case happened to the Centurion, which had the same tool set as the Adventurer but was liner locking. In 1993, the Centurion likeness was released as the Dutch Army Knife and the German Hoffman company commissioned Victorinox to produce two custom 111mm models called the Garant. These models have a standard main tool set, but had unique scales and scale tools. At two layers as well, we have here the Hunter XS, introduced in 2012. Its secondary locking blade is the main locking blade, of the parachute knife. This is the Hunter XS. It has got a one hand opening main blade, which is slide lock, has got the polyamide dual density injection molded scales, and it opens this way on the other side. two layers, no opening layer, and this is the secondary emergency blade, which is locking. On the back, corkscrew, no other scale tools. It came with this mini lanyard. That is the Hunter XS. A year earlier in 2011, Victorinox introduced the Hunter XT. So this is its little sibling. Off the beaten path, the Swiss-based Leicester company commissioned Victorinox to produce a custom two-layer model called the Welding Seam Tester. This model had a unique patented welding seam testing tool a serrated main blade, and a Phillips screwdriver back tool. Moving on to three layers. Let's look at the equestrian, designed for the horse rider in mind, and comes with this unique hoof cleaner. The equestrian is special in that it's one of those models with a combo tool, where the can opener and cap lifter, also the screwdriver and wire stripper, has been reduced to a single tool. I absolutely love this knife as it changes out the regular opening layer tools for more utilitarian choices. At three layers, we have firstly the equestrian. The equestrian is a liner locking Swiss army knife designed for the horse rider. 
it features a unique hoof cleaner tool. And the original version of this model was slide locking. So it has the combination tool, which is the can opener, flathead screwdriver. You can use this corner for Phillips screws. It works. A wire stripper, wire bender, bottle opener, all in one tool. The knife is liner locking. And its third layer is a very nice saw. On the back, you have the corkscrew, the oil reamer without the sewing needle, key ring. your tweezers and toothpick and that is the equestrian discontinued now there was once the helmsman both with a plain edge and partially serrated styles it was geared for marine use and therefore had a shackle opener or marlin spike tool. The handles were a royal blue with a nautical compass imprint. A variation with corkscrew was also available instead of the Phillips screwdriver, and there was an earlier version of the helmsman known as the marina. Apart from the equestrian, here's another one of my favourites, the hunter. Definitely one of my favourites is the 111mm Hunter. Not to be confused with the Hunter XT or Hunter XS, which of course doesn't carry the nylon scales that this one has. The Hunter is now liner locking. This particular version is the earlier slide locking Hunter. This model includes a small curved cutting blade with a serrated edge and of course the combo tool which we saw earlier in the equestrian the main blade is like any other slide locking 111 millimeter model it has got the standard scale tools the key ring, corkscrew, and all reamer, and like all slide locking models, as you notice probably by now, they are all from the 91mm family. So, the best part about the Hunter are its opening layers. Neither of these tools are common in the 111 millimeter range. Which makes the equestrian, which makes the earlier equestrian also quite unique in that sense. Unconventional tools. At three layers, we have the rucksack. Discontinued as of 2016, it has a slight locking main blade. The rucksack was discontinued in 2016. It's the 111mm version of the 91mm Hiker. So it's larger and has got a locking main blade. Again, this is the earlier slight locking version. Oh well, actually, there isn't a rucksack that is liner locking. So this has been discontinued completely. On the front, the standard 
opening layer tools, which is not locking. The newer ones would have placed a liner lock here with a larger tool. On the back, the corkscrew, the 91mm style oil reamer with sewing needle, your scale tools, key ring, and this is the rucksack. The rucksack was actually replaced with the Forester in 2010. In 2010, Victorinox introduced the Forester and the one-handed Forester. It came with new dual density injection molded red and black scales as part of its grip series. This is an example here of the one-handed Foresters. They also did this in Walnut and Bellywood. And that was in 2012 for the Italian market. It came in a special presentation box. In 2017, a wooden handled Forester was introduced. It doesn't have the one-handed blade though. This is the Forester one-handed blade with a serrated, three-quarter serrated edge. It has got the saw. as its third layer. Standard opening tools. And again, the locking screwdriver or now I suppose pry bar as well. On the back, like the rucksack, Corkscrew, of course, the newer style oil and reamer without the sewing needle. Now, all these particular models, because of the dual density injection molded scales, do not come with scale tools. They would be here ordinarily. In 2010, Victorinox introduced the Dual Pro where you had two one-handed opening blades, one straight edge and one serrated, and the cap lifter was liner lock, making it have three lockable tools. The Dual Pro X was a variation where the back tool was swapped. The 2010 Dutch Army Knife has a nearly identical tool set as the Dual Pro, but had olive green nylon scales instead of the polyamide dual density grip scales. The dual pros were withdrawn in 2017. Also at three layers, you have the Hunter XT grip with corkscrew. And like the Hunter XS, doesn't have the regular opening layers, but has two locking blades and a wood saw. As part of the discontinued on the road collection, Victorinox did produce at one time the One Hand Master RT in 2010. This model had a large locking partially serrated one hand opening main blade. It was the first liner lock model knife to feature the newer metal saw or metal file. It featured grey and black dual density injection molded handles. Also retired, the Parachutist is a liner locking model featuring a safety blade. Available in a one-hand opening serrated main blade variation, which was initially named the Rescuer, however, probably to avoid confusion with the Rescue Tool, which we'll look at later in this video, it became known as the One-Hand Parachutist. It is not to be confused with the single-layer parachute knife. The Skipper Pro is another three-layer Victorinox nautical knife released in 2018, featuring the same marine blue scales as the previously available Skipper. The Skipper Pro is another three-layer Victorinox nautical knife released in 2018, featuring the same marine blue scales as the previously available Skipper. It introduced a brand new tool, the large Marlin Spike, for marine use 
and also features a liner locking, partially serrated, one hand opening main blade. Oh, by the way, have I reminded you to subscribe to my channel? Yes, it helps a lot. It won't cost you a thing, I promise. In 2008, Victorinox released a redesigned soldier, aka the soldier knife, based on the earlier 111mm one hand German army knife and introduced new green dual-density scales with embossed grip sections that had softer velvety feel compared to the standard 111mm scales. The new model featured a one-hand opening and locking blade, which is partially serrated on the forward section, incorporated a new locking screwdriver, which is considerably stronger than its predecessor, and when combined with its solid liner lock, functions well as a small prying tool. A wood saw was also added to the soldier's tool set, which was a much sought-after feature of the original GAK. The soldier model has been issued to several other military and service organisations in addition to the Swiss military. Then we have the ever-so-popular Trailmaster or known as a Trekker in North America, is the civilian version of the soldier and a one-hand opening version was introduced in 2003. It's said to be so popular that I never bothered to go get one. Moving on to four layers, there used to be a slight locking atlas discontinued in 2017, where you would have the three-layer rucksack and added on the pliers you see in other 111mm models similar to the 91mm kind with wire crimpers and small gauge wire cutter. On the same layer spring, but parked beneath the pliers, you had an inline Phillips screwdriver. There was also the carpenter, which is an atlas, but replaces the corkscrew for a Phillips screwdriver, making the carpenter one of the few knives to have an inline and back spring Phillips screwdriver. The first iteration of the rescue tool was known as the Fireman. The Fireman is a four-layer model, very versatile in cutting chores, offering a large liner-locking plain edge blade, an emergency belt cutter blade, which is not found on many models, and a wood saw. The Fireman was intended for rescue workers and is an ancestor of the rescue tool. It was also available with a one-handed opening main blade, known as the one-handed fireman. Almost identical to the fireman, but replacing the corkscrew with a Phillips screwdriver is the jump master. Next at four layers, we have a true enthusiast favourite, which is the Outrider. It's the smallest 111mm knife to include the scissors, and it also contains the less common long inline Phillips screwdriver. The original version of this model was slide locking. Here's a version of the Outrider, but with a Phillips screwdriver as a back tool instead of the corkscrew. It used to be the standard officer's knife for the Malaysian Armed Forces. This is the version of the Outrider issued for the Malaysian Armed Forces. It is slight locking done in polyspectral. It has the wood saw. The standard opener layers. and includes the scissors. Beneath the scissors is the long inline Phillips screwdriver, which you would actually have to, you would actually have to close the inline Phillips screwdriver and then the scissors. Beneath 
abscesses, we have the small inline Phillips screwdriver, which you would actually have to close before closing your scissors. Unlike the Outrider, which has got a corkscrew, this has got a Phillips. This has got a Phillips screwdriver and the all reamer. It's slight locking in digital camouflage, standard scale tools of tweezers and toothpick, keyring. There were 20 to 30,000 produced in stainless steel and with regular camouflage scales in addition to this digital camouflage in polyspectral. Outrider with a screwdriver. Slight locking. The Skipper is a four-layer knife with a large liner locking partially serrated main blade and a shackle opener marlin spike for marine use. The knife is outfitted with unusual royal blue nylon scales embellished with a compass rose. The original version of this model was slight locking. One of my favourites but said to be discontinued this year is the Locksmith. This is the one-handed version. It has both the wooden saw and the metal saw. As you can see, slight locking one-handed version. Your regular opener layers. Of course, with locking pry bar. And quite unique, has got two saws, as you can see here, the wooden saw and a metal saw. Now the metal saw is also a file with both fine and rough edges on either side. It comes with scale tools, key ring, Phillips screwdriver at the back, the newer style all reamer. We've seen the one-handed liner locking main blade and we saw the opener layers. This is the locksmith and it's said to be discontinued as of 2023. Worth a mention here is the Outdoor Tool, an unusual liner lock model. It was developed in 2017 for the Swiss Survival Outdoor School, or SOS, and features an unusual tool configuration, with an inline awl from the 93mm series instead of the usual can opener. The final four-layer knife is the Victorinox Rescue Tool. It is designed for use by emergency response personnel and contains tools to assist in rescue activities such as extracting individuals trapped in vehicles and in other general and medical emergency situations. The final four-layer knife is the Victorinox Rescue Tool. It was designed It was designed for use by emergency response personnel and contains tools to assist With the original materials, the rescue to use a guide. This model was designed and developed as part of a five-year project in cooperation with the medical and rescue service professionals in Switzerland. The knife was very well received and won the IWA International Knife Award Knife of the Year in 2007. The rescue tool broke new ground for Victorinox by including user-replaceable metal tools. For most other models, only the tweezers and toothpick are removable or replaceable. However, the special window breaker tool that you see here 
and you would have what would be this glass saw it's a special glass saw meant for sawing glass for rescue operations now this can be replaced when it becomes worn out so that's really quite something this model was normally sold with this nylon red and yellow case it has glow in the dark scales which uh, came from the earlier stay glow model range which is not available anymore it has a one hand opening liner lock serrated edge blade it has your locking pry bar cap lifter screwdriver no can opener you have the window breaker here this is the seat belt cutting tool which is also serrated and in all likelihood used in emergency situations and on this side the special glass saw that we saw earlier toothpick tweezers set in nylon scale tools and came with its own pouch this model is normally sold with a nylon red and yellow case it has glow in the dark scales which was once available on some 91 mm models like the climber and tinker and it was called stay glow oh did i mention for you to like and share this video if you find it fascinating there are also other knives that don't have names but are issued on special order there are also knives that don't have names but are issued on special order such as this four layer model made for graham Graham is a historic British brand which has been restarted by the Swiss watch company, the British Masters, or now simply known as Graham of London. Namesake George Graham is regarded as the father of the chronograph and it just happens to be the brand of the watch I wear daily. Light locking main blade as its first layer regular opening tools in another layer the long inline Phillips and scissors that you find in the Outrider. Let's shut that first. In another layer, you have the saw. Standard tweezers, toothpick, key ring. On the back, the earlier style all reamer and a Phillips screwdriver. So at four layers, it's quite unique in that sense that it doesn't have a particular designated model or name. So let's move now to five layers. And we used to have the Tradesman, which was discontinued. It features a wood saw, metal saw with metal file, and pliers with wire cutters and wire crimpers. Also at five layers, we have the Hercules. And as per its name, it's hefty. Nonetheless, it boasts 
an impressive tool set. Rumor has it that as of 2023, this year, they will discontinue the Hercules model. The original Hercules was slide locking. This is the liner locking version. And the screwdriver in the earlier model was also not locking, unlike this version here. Your standard can opener on the back the newer style reamer, the corkscrew, the tweezers, toothpick, keyring, where shall we start? The knife. The main blade has got the position next to the opening layers. This is the liner lock to enable knife to close. Right next to it, you'd have the pliers. This is the wire crimper. And if you can see closely, these are the wire cutters in here. For light gauge wire, it works just fine. Beneath it, we have the stubby, I would say, number two and number three Phillips screwdriver, which is inline, very, very solid indeed. You'd have to close that first and then close the pliers. Right next to it, you have your scissors and beneath it, the inline long number zero and number one Phillips screwdriver. And then you have your wood saw as your fifth layer in the Hercules. So this is the Hercules. Discontinued, 2023. Then there are unconventional nameless models. Like this one here, issued for a particular police force in the world. Unconventional in that, like the Hercules, it's five layers. It comes with a one hand locking main blade. Standard opener layers. Locking pry bar screwdriver. The emergency seat belt cutter. The scissors and beneath it the long inline number zero number one Phillips screwdriver the wooden saw tweezers toothpick keyring That's the serial number of issue. Screwdriver. All reamer. New style. So as you can see, there are many unconventional nameless models like this one here. And I think that there are many others that have been issued by Victoria Knox all over the world for military, police, and rescue workers. It's quite impossible to pin down all of the models that have been produced or issued in the 111 millimeter category.
In the 111mm category, Victorinox has appeared to seek contracts for manufacture in set numbers, much like how the strategy is to use the 58mm size as advertising knives and the 91mm size as promotional items and corporate gifts. At six layers, Victorinox makes the work champ. It's regarded as the production flagship model in this category. Originally, it was slide locking, but post 2017, all slide lock mechanisms were dropped in favor of the liner lock mechanisms that you see in this work champ. Shout out to my lovely wife who bought me this as a present recently. Oh, what would I do without you? At six layers, Victorinox makes the work champ. It's regarded as the production flagship model in the 111mm category. Originally, it was slide locking, but post 2017, all slide locking models were dropped in favour of the liner lock mechanism that we've seen all throughout, which is this. Because of that, they had to adjust the size of the knife tang right there. That's the main blade. This is the work champ. And as the name suggests, it's a work champ and can, in my opinion, serve a household quite nicely for its general needs. Let's introduce to you the work champ. The work champ is regarded as the flagship model in the 111 millimeter category. Six layers. Originally, it was slide locking. Of course, post 2017, they all come with liner locks. The main blade with the heavier tang serves for the liner lock you have a locking pry bar you have the can opener with screwdriver tip right next to the main blade you'd have the pliers like the hercules with the wire crimper and the wire cutters there. Beneath, like the Hercules, you'd have this very, very nice to use inline screwdriver Phillips right next to it. The scissors, and beneath it, the long inline Phillips screwdriver very nice and you will have the metal saw this is the finer side metal file as well that we saw in the earlier locksmith but not the hercules and right next to it we'd have this very nice wood saw as it's six layer key ring tweezers toothpick corkscrew with mini tool and the newer style all reamer and that is the work champ for you thank you to my lovely wife who got this for me. What a beautiful and lovely present indeed. At 10 layers and for 111 millimeter, makes for a very humongous tool. It's the Work Jam XL, but that model has since been retired. It was slide locking before, but adopted the liner lock in 2017 it contains nearly every tool Victorinox makes for this 111mm series 
and it's only missing the backside Phillips screwdriver. It was slight locking before but adopted the liner lock in 2017. Contains nearly every tool Victorinox makes for the 111mm series and is only missing the back spring Phillips screwdriver. It even has the combo tool we saw on the Hunter and the Equestrian and the hoof cleaning tool. However, the small gutting blade in the Hunter was only available in a rare variation of the slight locking earlier version of the WorkChamp XL. Not a loss however as it carries the large gutting blade that's on the Fireman and the Hunter XS. And like all XL models, it's really just showmanship of Victorinox stacking all their tools in the particular series for the benefit of collectors. Alrighty then, subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. In the meantime, here's a link to the different sizes and variants of Swiss Army knives in general.